Hi, my name's Vince from Mr. Telephone and today I'm going to talk about how to install one of these, an ADSL faceplate. Okay, you may have heard about them. These are these are really good if you've got if you've got broadband on your line. So if you can move your router next to your master socket and you have an NTE5 master socket, then fit one of these. It's, uh, it's really good for your line because then it eliminates any losses that you will get on your extension. So you'll get the best broadband speed that you can get. So first of all, you have to have one of these, an NTE5 master socket. This is the one with the removable faceplate. It's been around for about 20 odd years. If you haven't got one of these, you will not be able to plug in the ADSL faceplate. The ADSL faceplate only fits on to an NTE5 master socket. So basically, if you've got one of these and you can move your router next to your master socket, so for example, if you've got power there and if it's not in a really inconvenient place like in the hallway where it's gonna not look nice, then uh, fit one of these and it's the uh, it's the best thing for your broadbands. Now, good thing about one of these as well is that you do away with all the extension microfilters in your house. So at the moment, pretend this socket here is going to your kitchen or one of your bedrooms, then you have to have microfilters plugged in everywhere to filter out the signal, otherwise you get noise on the line and also every time you pick up your phone there's a good chance your broadband will cut out. So when you fit an ADSL faceplate, you can do away with all your microfilters because the filtering is done at the master socket and you can just plug your phone, your fax, your skybox, all just straight into the socket. You don't have to have the master, uh, the ADSL filters, the microfilters anymore. So that's a good plus point. Now I'm just going to quickly show you how to install one of these. You undo the two little screws, these two little self tappers here, and you slide this out. Now I'm just going to put the, the camera face down. So if you haven't got any extensions, then there's no point in fitting an ADSL faceplate. It's only if you've got extensions going to other rooms in the house. So basically what you need to do is snip the little cable tie that holds the extensions in place and make a note of the wiring. This one's standard, so it's blue to two, white, blue to five, and orange to three. But your wiring might be older, it might not have been done by a BT engineer, the, the colour code on the cable could be different if it's newer or older. So always get a, a little pen and paper and write down which one goes to five, which one goes to three, and which one goes to two. You will see that it's numbered there on the, on the front plate. So I know that this is standard colour, so I'm just going to rip this out, but uh, obviously you need, to, you need to make a note of the wiring. Now, after you've ripped the wiring out, what I always do is just trim off the, the, the bits to where it's already been punched down. You can see the little uh, you can see the, the little slices on the cable there where the, where the IDC originally punched through it to get onto the copper on the inside. So this is your ADSL faceplate and if you have a look closely you will see the, the numbers there. Five, three, two. Ignore A and B. I'm going to talk about A and B in a minute, but you need just need a two, three and five. So you just copy like for like from what was on the faceplate to what's on this one here. Now, you see the cable tie bit is over here, so again, run the cable from this way. In this instance, I, I, uh, I should just about have enough. If you, if you haven't got enough, just strip, strip the cable sheath back a little bit. So, the white orange is not used, so we've got blue to number two, just punch that in. You can also use a little cheapo tool these are not expensive if you want to use one of these, but the only thing is you have to cut the remainder off the wire, the wire that sticks through the unused bit, you've got to cut that off. So I'm just using the professional tool. This is a punch down tool, often known, a, often known as a crone tool because they were the original guys that manufactured it many years ago. So that's orange to number three and white blue to number five. So if you can have a look there, you can see the wiring two, three, and five, so that's blue to two, orange to three, white, blue to five. Just like, exactly the same as what you had before on your little faceplate. Get the cable tie, you also get a cable tie in the pack, in the kit when you buy the ADSL faceplate, and put the cable tie through, through here, and then cable tie up the cable, cut the tail off the cable tie. So now it's nice and secure. This white orange wire doesn't do anything. So you just leave that, leave that spare. And that's it. And then you just plug it in. 
leave a little bit of slack on the extension wire so you can pull it out in the future. If it's too tight, you're gonna to struggle to get it out. So always leave a little bit of slack in there. And that's it. You plug your phone into this port here and your router into this port here. This is an RJ45 port, so it will accept an RJ11 or an RJ45 cable if you have where one of my infinity leads that's got an RJ45 on one end. So basically uh, this is a cheap flat type and it plugs into there like so. And then you can do away with all your filters and that's it. Now if you don't want the wire sticking out here then you can hardwire it onto the back. There is a provision for the A and B signals for the the unfiltered signal on the back of the uh, back of the ADSL faceplate. So uh, sorry, what I would so what I forgot to say is about the screws. You get four lots of screws in the kit. You get two self tappers and two machine screws. Whatever screw you took out, in which case this one here is a self tapper. Just marry it up to the. Uh, make sure it's the same. Make sure it's, it's the same as the one you're putting back in. So if you took out self tappers, put in the long self tappers. If you took out machine screws, put in the long machine screws. So these are the two types. This one here is a machine screw, this is a self tapper. So just look at the little screw that you took out and then you can see that it's the same as this one. You can see it's the same as this one here. It's quite hard to see that. Okay, so you would just use the long screws and go all the way through into the uh, back plate. Now, like I was saying before, if you wanted to use the, uh, if you wanted to hardwire, so for example, if this is in your hallway and you didn't want to have, you didn't want to have this wire here, you want it to hardwire the, the wire go into your router in the other room, then you can't use this flat cable because this flat cable is stranded and it doesn't punch down. You need to get yourself a solid core cable such as this one here, this is one of my Cat6 cables, and this is solid core. So what you would do is slide this out, and where you can see the A and B terminals down the bottom there, you can see A, forget the one in the middle, and then B up, so that middle one's not used. So you've got an A one here, forget the second one, and then the third one you've got the B. What you would do is have a look at the cable that, you're, that you want to cut. So instead of plugging it into the front one here, you decide that you want to cut it and hardwire it, have a look at the middle two pins. And on this one, the middle two pins is the blue and the white blue. So you would just cut the end of this, and again, just hardwire it using a punch down tool into the A and B on here. And uh, again, you would, uh, you would really need to cable tie it, you would need to cable tie it again. So uh, hardwire it onto the A and B terminals, and then you won't have any wires showing, because this wire, your ADSL wire will be hidden along with your extension wiring. So this one here would be hidden hidden up here as well. So it's a, it's a nice little job. You get on the, uh, the the more recent ones, well, for the last few years now, all the ADSL faceplates will have that A and B, but not the older version of the ADSL faceplate. So just double check when you're buying an ADSL faceplate. If you do want to hardwire the ADSL signal to another room, then just double check that uh, that it, it, it allows you to do so. So you can always ask the seller, has it got the A and B at the back for the provision of hardwiring the ADSL cable? And then you'll know. Uh, if you want one of these ADSL faceplates or one similar, then uh, if you go to my eBay shop, that's uh, mrtelephone.co.uk and that will link you through to my eBay shop. Thanks a lot for watching this video and please subscribe to the channel for more how-to videos. Take care, bye now.